Hey there, Casey here from Masson Labs. And in this video, we are going to be covering the Dark and Moody Assist tool, one of the new AI tools that is out for our Vintage Slide Film Pack beta that we have going on right now. These tools will eventually make their way to all of the other packs, but we are testing them out currently for the Vintage Slide Film Pack. So if you would like to get your hands on them, make sure to grab that pack at MassonLabs.com. This pack has three amazing films you will absolutely love. It's super versatile. Versatile, and especially with these tools, you really can get the most out of your photos and do things that feel almost impossible. It feels like you're relighting your photos. Now in front of you, you'll see these four images. I have already edited these using a three-step workflow and the presets from the Vintage Slide Film Pack. If you're unfamiliar with the three-step workflow, it's simple and it's there as a consistent and cohesive sort of workflow for your images to make sure that you are delivering something that is beautiful to your clients every single time. If you'd like to watch more videos about that, we have a ton. You can just search our YouTube channel and look for the three-step workflow and you can see exactly how to make that workflow work best for you. Now for this, let's go ahead and let's just pop into our first image. So again, I've applied the preset, adjusted exposure, corrected for white balance, and it looks like I've also applied a highlight soft to tamp down some of the bright highlights. But what I'll do is just to get everything out of, else out of the way is I'm just going to apply the dark and moody assist. So as you can see, what it's doing is it is giving the image sort of a fade. This is what it would look like if you were to underexpose a photo and then using a film scanner to bring back that exposure, to recover that exposure, you would get this sort of beautiful faded um, boudoir or as we've been calling it, moudoir look um, on your photos. Now, as you can see, this fade is very visible. If this feels too strong for you, I have great news. One of the best parts about all of these AI tools is that they work so well with the new Lightroom preset slider. So what that is, is it's right over here and you'll see there's the hundred here and that's a default value whenever you apply a preset that has the preset slider available and turned on. And if I were to bring this back to zero, you can see that it reverts. It's just as if the dark and moody assist was not applied at all. So that's sort of like a before and here is after. Now, as we bring this slider back, you can see that it's decreasing some of that fade. And as I have it about, okay, so it's at 63 right now, the fade is still present. It's still there. It exists. Uh, and honestly, it, this looks really good right here. Um, but that took no time at all. And it allows me to know what is going to work best for this photo. From here, if I wanted to make this even moodier, I could, of course, drop the exposure and really get it down. Now, one thing that I really like, especially about dark and moody images, is sort of that grit, the grain. That's sort of a, they tend to have a more gritty feel to them. And so I'm going to apply a 35 millimeter grain. And I think that just adds another level. It's like texture onto this photo that just does such an awesome job. So let's just, I'm going to go back to sort of, this is what our base image, this is what we started with. And boom. Here we go. And I mean, that looks awesome. That was a quick edit. I clicked on dark and moody, dropped it down to 63, and then added grain from this to this. And that is wild. This is the look that your clients are going to absolutely freak out over, especially those boudoir or again, uh, moudoir clients of yours are just going to lose it. I think it does such an awesome job. So, okay. So now that we have that, let's go ahead. Let's move on to our next photo. Um, and here you'll see, man, such a uh, awesome image. Looks like one that I would love to be in the room to shoot. Um, and we'll just go ahead. I'm going to click my dark and moody assist. So here for this, you can see uh, maybe the fade is still a little strong. I could bring up my exposure just a little bit. And that's just sort of um, helping to unlock some of these sort of mid-tone values. Now, one thing that I want you to notice about this photo in particular is that it is also bringing down the highlights. So it's not just bringing up and fading the shadows. It's also bringing down the highlights a little. And again, by pulling this back towards zero, you're lessening that fade and you're sort of giving, making those blacks a little blacker and the whites a little whiter. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's starting to look really nice. Um, yeah, I don't know right here. I think actually I made this a little too warm for my taste. I'm going to just cool it off a little bit right about there. And again, add the grain because I love it. Um, man, uh, it's awesome. Uh, this is such a moody photo and it's, you know, it's, it's moody. It's not muddy. It just looks, uh, really good. And it took no time at all to get here. This is something that is so easy to repeat photo by photo and be really consistent with. And for those clients who love this sort of darker, moodier look, it's killer. Okay, now 
let's move on to our next photo. I think this one we edited with yeah, Velvia. So Velvia has much deeper and just more contrasty, more saturated. Um, and so let's take a peek at what this does. So I'll go ahead, apply the dark and moody assist. And it's almost like it's softening the entire image. Now, if this doesn't feel faded enough, you can just go the opposite direction. So I think this is actually perfect. Um, but if I did wanna go a little further and just give it a little bit more of that faded look, it almost kind of reminds me of like that washed out Polaroid look, which looks really nice. And I'm gonna apply my 35 millimeter grain because I love the texture again. And man, I don't know, I, I think that's perfect. That's perfect to me. I wouldn't do anything. Oh, no, I would do one other thing and that is to <laughs> uh, straighten the image just a hair yeah there we go uh, <laughs> that was bothering me okay now it's perfect uh yeah so simple so straightforward and a look that your clients will love um okay let's move on to this last photo and we'll talk about one last little tip and trick so the spotlight tool light and airy assist and dark and moody assist will all overwrite each other so if i were to click on dark and moody assist it will apply if i click on light and airy assist that's going to overwrite dark and moody assist tool is doing and spotlight again will overwrite the light and airy assist we'll go ahead and we'll move back to our dark and moody assist it's feeling a little strong i'm just gonna dial it back a hair but i still want to keep a little bit of that fade in there um, and I think I can bring up the exposure. Okay. Um, anyway, all that said is that the sky save tool, our fourth tool under the AI tools works in conjunction with spotlight, light and airy assist and dark and moody assist. So if I click on this, you'll see that it is bringing down the exposure of the sky. It's recovering the detail in the sky. And I can, again, use this preset slider to sort of just dial that in and dial in that sort of the balance of the photo. Um, I think <laughs> this is looking a little bright to me. I want this to be dark. I want this to be moody. Um, and let's see, I'm going to click my dark and moody assist again. That'll revert back to normal. And yeah, right about there, 35 millimeter grain. Awesome. I mean, this just looks like a, a, a really moody portrait. That would be so fun, so fun to shoot. And it looks like a really great environment. And there you have it. I mean, that is such an easy way to get a moody boudoir look that you no longer have to feel that you're struggling to go into, you know, all the different settings to find how to make each of your photos look, you know, perfectly moody and just so. Um, this is the fastest way that you have to be able to achieve this look for your photos. We love it. We know you'll love it too. Um, again, this tool and the other AI tools are currently only available for the Vintage Slide Film Pack. Um, they're in beta right now, but they will make their way over to the other packs uh, soon. And we are so excited to see what you guys are going to be able to make with them. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via email at support at mastodlabs.com or through messenger at m.me forward slash mastodlabs. Until next time, have a great day and happy editing.